friends welcome to today's video we are making kombucha at home because this thing is very expensive we are talking about two dollars and fifty cents from zucchini garden city that is 250 kenya shillings it is not affordable for an average person like if you are to take kombucha every day imagine 250 there are two ways you can do this you can do it from the start meaning you make your scoby is that how it's pronounced but i tried making scoby at home and i i failed terribly so another way easier way cheaper way in terms of time is a practical way in terms of time and all that is you buy a ready kombucha to just make it your starter kick so i have the mama kombucha which is a very good brand and this is a ginger cake flavor kombucha has very many flavors from pineapple to hibiscus to all those so i want to make a similar uh, kind so like a ginger kind kombucha so i will use uh this remaining kombucha here some ginger that is just peeled and sliced ginger i will have my starter tea this is uh al grey tea tea bag kama tatu ni mesok in uh, hot water we will use sugar but i am not so much into sugar so i want to use hiyo kidogo unaona hapo hivo if you want your kombucha to be very sweet you can add more sugar but remember sugar is not good for your health so you want it for the process to be smooth so don't do a lot of sugar then the other thing you need is hot water everybody should take kombucha because it's a very good source of probiotics probiotics is in a strengthen your immune system next we put in our ginger you can also do your fruit you can slice your fruit of choice and then we do our starter tea next we are going to do our remaining kombucha Kombucha is a very good antioxidant. That means it fights the free radicals in the body. And the acetic acid kills bacteria because of the fermentation that will happen after we make this and let it sit. That means you're going to fight infections better and you reduce the chances of heart disease. It may manage also type 2 diabetes. And it is very, 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 very refreshing. Please note that you're not supposed to make your kombucha using any metallic ware because of the fermentation. In other words, I end up to get some deposits of the metal into your kombucha. Don't use the tight uh, glass closures. What you need to do is uh, funica it with a cloth for the exchange of gases to happen. And I will see you after seven to ten days we check on how our kombucha is doing so this is the top of my kombucha you can see kutakuwa na exchange of gases then you may secure na, na rubber band just to make sure that it is tight so this is supposed to sit for seven to ten days and i will see you ten you can opt to have individual jars where you just put your, your kombucha so for now this is where we leave it at and then i will see you after seven days we check whether it has the taste that i am used to or it needs some extra days that is some other three days to make it 10 days friends this is my kombucha on day seven and yes this is not mold that is the fermentation process going on nothing wrong about it the whitish film thing is a sign of the good bacteria building up 
so you don't have to worry about anything so i want to at this point would be perfect for me to just start taking my kombucha but i want to do three more days and see what happens with this so i will see you in three days friends it is day 10 and my kombucha is ready so after this point what you need to do is uh, bottle your kombucha if you are in nairobi and you're looking for chupas that could bottle it up go to asami limited asami is opposite conja stage yeah, assuming unenda baza you see the place that is where you get all your bottles and tins and stuff like that bottle it up and you can refrigerate your homemade kombucha in the fridge for around one to three months so the white stuff remember it is not mold it is nothing to be concerned about what you need to do is just remove it even if you refrigerate uta na kwa chupa you will always have uh, the the baby scooby that that's the word that forms on top of the kombucha so just get rid of it and take your kombucha now uh if you make your kombucha at home a trick is to always uh, bakisha what you've already made to just make the other bunch so if i bottle this and refrigerate it then i can make the next lot This is just a method I used to get rid of the coating. Yeah. The last time I made kombucha, I did seven days. This one, I decided to make it 10 days to note the difference. Kindly note that the flavor is more like uh, the fermentation um taste is more after the three days right so refrigerate your kombucha because after this if you don't the fermentation process still will continue going on nasasa happened urachangeneza your local brew so make sure that you refrigerate your kombucha just to make it stay fresh take it chilled take it as you would want so this is my homemade kombucha very 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 yummy right very beneficial to the body and inexpensive please try the kombucha let me know your concerns and still you can tell me some of the other things that you do uh when you're making your kombucha the best flavors that you have tried i know this ginger and uh hibiscus works for me my name is rachel videos every monday wednesday and saturday thank you so much i'll see you then